EU governments have agreed to step up deportations of migrants deemed to be illegal. Creating a border guard force has also been on the agenda at a meeting of interior ministers in Luxembourg. It comes amid a surge in refugees fleeing Syria's civil war. My colleagues find and found that uh, guarding the external border of European Union is the priority number one. This is most important recognition from this day. And of course, uh, the activity to support the Frontex to increase the personnel numbers uh, in the Frontex, this is most important. Ministers also agreed to exert more leverage on African and other states to make them accept citizens who were refused entry to Europe. In recent years, less than 40% of people who've had their asylum claims rejected have actually then left the EU. We've always said that we need to protect those who are in need of international help, he says. But those who don't need this kind of protection will have to return to their countries of origin. An EU plan agreed last month will see so-called hotspots set up in countries such as Greece and Italy to screen incoming migrants more carefully, but doubts are being cast on their workability. Our reporter says from the latest statement it's clear that the migration policy of open doors is coming to an end in Europe. Leaders will handle the migration pressures outside of Europe's borders or by protecting its external borders.